In this lesson, we're looking at writing equations in slope-intercept form from a graph. So let's get started. And linear equations are frequently written in slope-intercept form. And so when you think about the root word for linear, it is line. So equations that uh, create lines as graphs are frequently written in slope-intercept form. And so the formula that we use for slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line, so that is the term in front of the x, and b is the y-intercept. Now you have an x and y there, and you're gonna keep them as variables. And so when you're looking at a graph that you wanna write in slope-intercept form, think about it, slope-intercept, what do you think you need? You need a slope, and you need a y-intercept. You're simply going to replace um, m with the slope and b with the y-intercept. As an example here, we have the equation y equals 2x plus 3. The number in front of x is your slope, so our slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 3. So your constant in this equation is 3. And so for this particular example, 0, 3 would be our y-intercept. So we will plot that point 0, 3. That's our y-intercept. And our slope is actually 2 over 1 because remember every whole number has a 1 underneath. So now let's start writing some equations. So we're going to start off with some examples here. Um, we're given a slope and the y-intercept and we just want to take this information and write an equation in slope-intercept form. And so we have our formula y equals mx plus b. So our first one here, our slope is 2 and our y-intercept is negative 1. So we simply replace m with um, 2. So instead of putting um, mx, we're going to put 2x. And then b, instead of putting plus 1, we're going to put minus 1. If it is, if your y-intercept is negative, you just put minus. And that's it. Let's look at number 2. So y equals, my slope is 3 fifths. So that is 3 fifths x. And then my y-intercept is 4. Since my 4 is positive, it's just going to be plus 4. So the only thing I'm doing is replacing m and b. That's it. So m is slope, b is y-intercept. So my last one here, y equals, since my slope is negative 3, it's going to be negative 3x plus 2. And I've written these three equations in slope-intercept form. So now let's try some on your own. So I have these three examples here that I would like for you to try on your own. Remember that you're simply replacing m with the slope and b with your y-intercept. So go ahead and pause the video and try these problems on your own. All right, so I have the answers right here. Go ahead and pause the video to check your answers and I hope you get them correct. We have two examples here where we want to write an equation in slope-intercept form from these two graphs here. And the first thing we want to do is identify the slope. And if you're not familiar with how to find the slope on a graph, uh, please see my video finding the slope um, on a graph and I will link it in the bio section of this video. But basically we use the formula rise over run. And remember rise is your change in your y value or the vertical change or up and down. And run is a change in your x value or the horizontal change or left and right. Okay, so we want to find the slope of this graph here, number seven, and I want to start at the point closest to my left. You don't have to, but I just think it's easier to start at the point closest to your left, and that way you can see if it's a positive slope, and then um, because we read from left to right, um, it's just easier to go from left to right. So this point right here, I'm going to start by counting up to get my rise because I want to get to that second point. So I'm going to count one, two, three. So my rise is three. So M equals three. I need to find the run to get to this point here. So I go over one place. My run is one. So my slope is three over one, but I want to reduce that. So my slope is three. Always reduce. And B, 
is your y-intercept so we want to find our y-intercept and that is where that graph crosses the y-axis so B right here is my y-intercept and that looks like it is at um, negative 4 just to make sure 1 2 3 4 so my B is negative 4 and then I just want to use this information to write my equation y equals 3x so remember you're placing replacing m with 3 and b is negative 4 so that is going to be minus 4 and that's it let's take a look at number 8 finding this slope I'm going to start at this point here closest to my left okay since I have to count down to get to that second point I know it's going to be a negative slope or we can see that that line falls from left to right so I have to count down um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so my rise is negative six. And I have to go over one, two, three, four. My run is four. So my slope is negative six over four. And I want to reduce that. These numbers are both divisible by two. So my slope is negative three over two. And remember, B is where this graph crosses the Y axis. And just going to count from my X axis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my B is seven. And then just plugging in that information. Y equals negative three over two. X plus seven. Okay, so I have two more examples that I'm going to do with you before I have you try the last four on your own. And so, of course, we want to find the slope. So starting at this point closest to my left, I'm going to count up one, two. So my rise is two. And I have to count over one, two, three, four, five. So my slope is two fifths. B is again where my graph crosses that Y axis and that is right here. And that is at negative three. So my B is negative three. And then just plugging it into slope intercept formula. Y equals two fifths X minus three. Next, finding my slope, starting at the point closest to the left here. I go, I'm gonna go up uh, one, two, three, four, five. My rise is five. And then I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five. My run is five. And so my slope five over five reduces to one. And I need to find B right here where that graph crosses the Y axis. And that is at one, two, three, four, five, six. So my B is six. So my slope is Y equals Instead of putting 1x, we just put x plus 6. Remember in algebra, um, the coefficient of x is 1. And so if the coefficient of x is just 1 or the number in front of x is 1, we don't put it there because that's the understood 1 in front of the x. So instead of putting 1x, we just put y equals x plus 6. I have two problems here that I would like for you to try on your own. So please just go ahead and pause the video and try these problems on your own. All right, so I have the answers right here. Um, the problem is written in slope intercept form. Note that on number 12, um, there is no B. If your B is zero, you don't put anything. So you don't put uh, plus zero. Again, if your B or your Y intercept is zero, you don't put it, it has no value. And so you would just um, write your slope there. And there's an understood B of zero when it is not there. Hopefully you got these correct. I have two more problems that I would like for you to try on your own, uh, just to make sure you really understand how to write these equations um, from a graph. So please pause the video and try these last two problems on your own. I have the answers here for you to go ahead and check. I hope you get them correct. 
All right, so we've reached the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are finding the slope on a graph and finding slope using two points. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I want to thank you for learning with me.